Yeah, I think that's where they're at with it now. No, but understand. So now, another thing of it is, is that Jaguar Wright, whose full name is Jacqueline Suzette Wright Johnson, is an American singer. She has released five studio albums and has worked with artists such as Lauren Hill, Common, and Jill Scott. She has also performed with musicians such as Jay-Z, The Roots, and Black Alicious. However, the soul singer has made a name for herself besides music. She has become an influencer and a talk show host. Jaguar Wright has used this platform to speak about various artists she has worked with, including Sean Combs, popularly known as Diddy. First, she claimed the music mogul conspired at Uptown Records. The saying goes, where there is smoke, there's fire. For some, they spark a fire to receive attention from smoke. Well, Wright shed light on the five founding members of Uptown Records. Andre Harrell, Heavy D, Al B. Sure, Puffy, and Kim Porter. She said Andre Harrell and Heavy D both died from heart attacks. Kim Porter, assistant of Andre Harrell, initial reports said homicides. Then Wright pointed to the near-death experience that Al B. Sure had last year. She claimed that three of the four members were writing books at the time of their deaths, and Al B. Sure is working on a documentary. But Jaguar Wright claims that something is not right, with the last man standing, member number five, Diddy, formerly called Puffy. Recently, Jaguar Wright has poured more fuel on Diddy's situation. She claimed that she had hired an attorney around 2003 who had just left Bad Boy Records. The attorney confided in her and shared an unsettling story about her time at the record label. Wright said Diddy is meeting with singer and actor Christopher Williams about possibly signing a demo deal. The attorney needed to get Diddy's approval for some paperwork, so she went into his office. The door wasn't locked, so she didn't think twice about just walking in. When she walked in, she saw Christopher Williams performing orals on Diddy, Wright said. According to the R&B soul singer, the attorney wasn't bothered but embarrassed and surprised. But she played it cool until Diddy brought it up the following day. According to the attorney, he was aggressive, asking her if she intended to tell anyone about what she saw. When she asked politely about why he didn't lock the door, he reportedly replied, I will do whatever I want to do in my building. It is power. See, if I can make a man perform oral on me, I could make people do anything for money. Jaguar Wright went on, That's what you said, Puff, about Christopher Williams performing oral on you for a demo deal, and you cut him a check. Wright was adamant that Diddy had threatened to ruin the attorney's life if she ever told anyone. Because she was blackmailing you, because she had the goods on you. So the Nisha battle. Nisha battle. With a history of verbal attacks against Diddy, it is not surprising that she reacted to the raid on the billionaire music producer and entrepreneur. You will recall that approximately five days ago, agents of Homeland Security raided Diddy's homes in Miami and Los Angeles. However, Homeland Security investigation agents did not provide details about the case, including whether Diddy was a target or which criminal charges were being investigated. Nonetheless, it is widely believed in the media that the raid was in connection with the accusations of assault and trafficking in multiple civil lawsuits the music mogul has been facing in the last several months. Federal prosecutors in the Southern District of New York and federal agents with Homeland Security were conducting the criminal investigation. The raid was a shocking development in Diddy's career. He is a music producer, label executive, and rapper among the most influential and widely recognized figures in the music industry for the last 35 years. Sean Diddy Combs has been integral to transforming hip-hop into a global commercial force. Crafting hits and incredible rap and R&B performers like Usher, Notorious B.I.G., and Mary J. Blige. On a personal level, he has produced great hit songs including I Will Be Missing You in 1997 alongside Faith Evans, the widow of close friend Notorious B.I.G., who died that same year. However, his three-decade career hasn't been free from controversies and accusations of violence. In recent months, more lawsuits and accusations have surfaced, starting with his former girlfriend and fellow recording artist, Cassie, who accused the billionaire of assault, harassment, and violence. Although the case was settled the following day after she filed it through her lawyer, more similar cases are expected to follow. The effect of the cases is becoming obvious, with most of his business associates distancing themselves from him. Federal investigators in the Big Apple have been leading the investigation and have been conducting interviews asking potential witnesses about alleged misconduct against Diddy for months, according to sources familiar with the case. Besides the cases of assault, violence, and trafficking, Diddy has been accused of other things in the past. 
For instance, 50 Cent accused him of being responsible for the death of rapper Notorious B.I.G., albeit without any evidence. 50 Cent accused Diddy in a 2006 diss track titled The Bomb. The rapper alleged Diddy knew who shot the Notorious B.I.G., the rapper who was killed in a drive-by shooting in 1997. Diddy was reportedly with the late rapper the night of the shooting, but was sitting in another car. 50 Cent continues to accuse Diddy of making money off the name of the late rapper, who was signed to Diddy's music label through posthumous releases and sampling the dead rapper's materials in his songs. Most recently, 50 Cent has accused Diddy of being involved in the 1996 murder of Tupac Shakur. However, authorities have not accused Diddy of wrongdoing regarding Tupac's death or that of Notorious B.I.G., who was his friend. And he posted on his Instagram the last photo of Tupac alive, which is him in that BMW and then Shug's. For the same reason, 50 Cent has continued to go after Diddy online and during interviews. For instance, 50 Cent announced in December 2023 that his production company, G-Unit Film and Television, which produced TV shows such as Power, Raising Canaan, and Force, would produce a documentary about the salt allegations levied against Diddy and proceeds would be donated to victims of assault. 50 Cent posted an image that looks like a promotional poster for a documentary titled Diddy Do It on his Instagram page, triggering a spike in search for the title. Do the Diddy documentary. It will definitely be a certified TV hit. In 20- Although many celebrities have spoken about the raids regarding Diddy and the accusations against him, Suge Knight, a rap mogul, wrote on this, X formerly called Twitter, claiming there was a bigger issue behind the raids and hinting at a conspiracy. People, today's raids weren't for Diddy, Knight wrote on Monday. It was to destroy the incriminating evidence on powerful men. It wasn't for Diddy. It was to destroy the incriminating stuff on powerful men. And when reports started... In a separate interview, Nadia Shiata, the attorney who prosecuted R. Kelly, also shared her thoughts on the ongoing issue with Diddy. She warned the hip-hop mogul that he should be very concerned about the raids on his homes and claimed it was an indication that the investigation was well underway. Taking an overt step and investigation of searching two homes means the investigation is well underway here. They have probable cause to believe a federal crime has been committed and that evidence of that crime or multiple crimes would be found in the two locations searched. So this is big news. And if I'm Diddy or his lawyers, I'd be very concerned at this point. Going back to Jaguar Wright, she has accused other celebrities of wrongdoings in the past. For instance, she accused Mary J. Blige of hiding her sexuality. In her usual style, Jaguar Wright challenged the queen of hip-hop soul music on Instagram to a versus battle and dismissed her talent. She went on to say how Blige hid her sexuality for years. I can produce my own songs. I can sit down with a competent mix engineer and walk through a mix. I can do those things, Mary. Can you? What can you do, Mary, other than play dress up and eat tuna in dark places, hoping nobody finds out you're gay? And if I'm lying, sue me, Mary, Wright said. If you got the heart, let's do the verses. Or if you want to apologize to me for the way you tried to destroy my career at its very beginning, you could do that too. Out by a female rapper. While she doesn't mention the rapper, she implies that it's either MC Light or Also in 2020, Wright alleged that Jay-Z was involved in the murder of Big L, a famous New York rapper who was Jay-Z's rival in music. She also claimed that Big L's death was part of the Illuminati sacrifice which Jay-Z, Beyonce, and her mother were involved in. She alleged that Beyonce is a prisoner in her home and that she is afraid of Jay-Z. Wright also said that she was afraid for her family after making these accusations and never signed a cease and desist letter from Jay-Z's lawyers. He was a talent. He's not at least an exec. However, Wright is not without controversies of her own. Last year, she was arrested after her husband reported her for abusing him. She was seen being dragged out of her apartment by the police before hauling a cup at her husband. However, her husband told reporters that he still loved her despite her erratic behavior. Over to you. What do you think about Jaguar Wright going after Diddy? Share your thoughts in the comments section. If you've enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified about our next updates about your favorite celebrity.